I'm Ellie Truesdell, and I'm a local forager for Whole Foods Market. Ellie is one of 12 Whole Foods foragers in the U.S. who works with hundreds of local suppliers. 15 to 30 percent of the products in each store are local, part of the company's effort to get back to its natural roots. For Ellie, it often means going back to the farm and eating. It's so fun. You get to not only sample a lot, but sample the best of regional foods. It's so good. So good. It's so good. Today, Ellie is at Arethusa Farm in Litchfield, Connecticut. This is truly the cleanest dairy farm you'll ever see. Yes, they are cared for, they're brushed, they're washed. Arethusa Farm makes yogurt, cheese, and milk. It has just started making weekly ice cream deliveries to a nearby Whole Foods store. Ellie wants to see if they can ramp up to do more. So what are you looking for? Um, looking for a lot in terms of food safety and processing and how they're separating each stage of the process. I mean, quality is obviously so important and how the food is made. How important is price point in all of this? Pricing is important to look at, um, you know, what do we have in the category and what is their wholesale price and how can we work with them on that. If we can take a little bit of a hit on a margin so that we're moving more local product, it helps them to grow, which then helps our cost. One local business that Whole Foods helped grow is Westport Aquaculture in Connecticut, which traces its roots back to a family business started in 1857. It delivers tens of thousands of oysters and clams to Whole Foods each year. So this river is a natural nursery for young oysters. How long does it take from getting an oyster off of one of Jeff's boats into a Whole Foods? It can be 24 hours to Connecticut stores and 36 hours to some of our maybe New Jersey, Long Island stores. One product that's in about one-third of all Whole Foods stores comes from Norg-based Knipschilt's Chocolatiers. Fritz, the Danish chef owner, says Whole Foods is 10% of his business. They're making everything by hand. It's amazing. How do you choose? Or at least for our suburban stores, you're not buying the crazy, crazy stuff. Um, families want, you know, caramels and, right. and things that their kids would try. Whereas in the city, you're going to have a customer that is going to be really excited about the pine needle, dark chocolate truffle. In a nutshell or in a chocolate shell, what makes this Whole Foods worthy? The care, the ingredients, the craft, and the fact that you haven't compromised that for so many years is amazing. I'm hugely passionate about food, but it's also that I get to be working with these people who are so, so incredibly knowledgeable about what it is they make and helping them kind of reach this new audience by selling to Whole Foods where maybe they haven't in the past.